Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel here on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. Right. I'm gonna dip here. I'm gonna dip some longhorn peach. Gotta use it up. So I got a couple of interesting questions from Mr. No Bluff Buff. Cheers, everybody. <clears throat> to continue the question and answer uh, videos that I've been doing lately. I really dig doing these, you know. If any, uh, anybody has questions, just ask them to me and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, the first question he asks is, what, what video editor do I use? And uh, primarily I use a, an app called InShot. Um, that's what I'm filming this on. Um, filming. <laughs> I'm so old now. Um, video show, video shop, studio FX, glitch FX, uh, Snapchat. I think that's it. Uh, I, I use those all to embellish my InShot videos most of the time. Sometimes I just make weird videos with glitch FX or whatever. That Fiddlesticks video I made was done on, on that app. I think I have the name right. It's uh, just a free app in the Play Store. If I'm using it, you best be assured it's free. <laughs> um, <clears throat> now, the, now he asked me a, <clears throat> a longer question and it's kind of bunch, a bunch of questions put into one question um, <clears throat> I rewrote it here so I could understand it better when I'm trying to answer it so, how does retirement look for me and is it a challenge to me and my generation do I still hold on to my dreams, or have I had to let some go? And did any of that meet your expectations, meet my expectations? Um, okay, well that's, that's certainly a big question. Uh, retirement. How does retirement look for me? Um, you might be looking at it. <laughs> um, I'm currently on, uh, on the disability program that we got here. Um, I, I'm, I'm on medical deferment from work from my doctor. Um, you know, I worked very hard as, as a cook and uh, a bartender for years and uh, kind of destroyed my body. You know, so I have a lot of back problems now. I have a lot of uh, gastrointestinal problems now. And that all may be part of it. I don't know. I had to eat a lot of weird shit being a cook. Um, but yeah, I really have no retirement plan other than the Canada pension plan we get here. <laughs> and uh, maybe I'll still be on disability. Maybe I'll be doing something else. But ultimately, retirement for my generation in Ontario or probably across Canada is pretty bleak. Um, that's really the only way I can put it. Uh, yeah. I don't know anyone who can afford to be putting away money for retirement right now. And, you know, a good lot of my generation are sleeping in tents outside City Hall. <laughs> so, you know, people aren't so concerned about retirement here, including, including myself, as they are on the survival of day-to-day, 
you know, um, it's, uh, I live in a very, very impoverished city. Um, a lot of people are very poor here. Um, <clears throat> you know, when I was on welfare here, and uh, your, your welfare check doesn't do anything but pay your rent. Um, you know, half of it is allotted to your shelter expenses, and half of it's allotted to food and household items and stuff, but you only get 700 bucks, man. Like, you know, in most cases these days, that wouldn't even pay for your apartment. Um, you know, that was, that was a desperate life, you know. My, my welfare check uh, only, only covered my, my, my rent, and maybe I could pay off a few bucks on my phone bill, you know. But other than that, it's pretty bleak around here, man. And retirement, you know, I'm I may be retired as we speak. I'm not even sure yet. <laughs> but uh but you know, if this is retirement, I'm I'm not unhappy with it. I'm you know it's nice to not have to wake up and go to work. Um in the traditional sense. You know, there there's things I do in my life that I try to uh consider work like uh, the radio and doing this YouTube channel and uh, making music, of course. Um, yeah, you know, I, 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 when I do, when I do what I do, I do it, you know, I do it when, like it was a job. I don't, I don't, I use my whole ass, you know what I mean? Not, not, not half my ass. But yeah, it's very challenging, because um, nobody's got, nobody, you know, half the people I know don't have money for groceries next week, and uh, <laughs> let alone think about any sort of retirement, so I don't know, maybe maybe we'll all be sleeping in tents down by the river, and it could, that's not an uh, exaggeration. Um <clears throat> Do I still hold on to dreams, or have I had to let some go? Um, you know, when all said and done, I am in the very lucky position to say that I've pretty much, all, all my dreams, all my big dreams I've accomplished in life, you know, um, I wanted to be a musician, I became a musician that got to tour all around, you know, like I just got back from Pittsburgh last month for playing, for playing, play, for, 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 for playing music. Um, you know, I wanted to be a harmonica player. I became a harmonica player. Um, you know, uh, I've written and written and produced like 25 to 30 original scripts here in Peterborough. Um, you know, all my, all my childhood, uh, okay, when I was a kid, when I thought about what I wanted to do when I grew up, um, uh, it kind of fell into three categories. I wanted, I, I of course wanted to do music because everybody wants to be a rock star. Um, I wanted to be a writer, I'm very serious about writing. Um, I still am. Um, uh, and I wanted to learn how to cook properly because, you know, that's a long story itself, you know. But I, I had a, a food, I had a food epiphany once as a child, <laughs> and I thought, food can be really good, you know. And I want to find out how to make good food, you know. So I did all those things, you know. I became a musician, um, and I put my whole ass into it, you know. And, you know, I'm kind of beyond my young and sexy. Uh, rock star days, you know, but when you look at the reality of how the music business goes, you know, I've actually done quite well for myself as a solo, as a solo artist in Canada. Um, I haven't, you know, for doing what I do and pursuing it the way I pursue it, I've actually done pretty good. So that's a dream come true. Um, I have, I've had children. I've I have two 
amazing children, you know, I, that's a dream come true, you know, having kids, um, I learned how to cook, I was a chef for years, you know, um, a dream come true, you know, all, all the things I've ever really, really, really wanted to do in life, I've done them, um, or I've tried to do them, or I'm doing them, you know, uh, I don't ever think of, you know, think about my, my dreams, um, I think I made all my dreams reality, you know, and I feel very lucky I can say that. Um, I've done a lot of really cool shit in my life, you know, and it's all stuff I wanted to do since I was a kid, you know. Uh, playing harmonica by the Mississippi River, you know. Uh, all kinds of music stuff, you know. Uh, so... No, I, I haven't had to let go of any of my dreams, you know. Um, things happen, you know, like I was recently in this really cool band and we broke up just a couple of weeks ago, you know, so that happens. But I've been in lots of bands that have broken up. Um, you know, I was in a pretty famous band in Canada for a while called the Silverhearts. We had our glory days, you know, and... Uh, that was a total dream come true, you know, but these things don't always last forever, and nor should they, you know. Like, when I think about bands that have stood the test of time, you know, and made hundreds of records or whatever, you know, like, you know, the Rolling Stones is a band that I really, I really like a lot, um, up until the 70s, you know. I think the last... I stopped paying attention to the Stones was when they made uh, Tattoo You. Um, that's their last good album that I remember. Um, <clears throat> you know, and so when they're making uh, call it like their 54th record or something like that, um, it's not, I don't care to listen to that anymore. I don't want to listen to the Rolling Stones now, now that they're old men. And aren't aren't what they were, you know. Um, so things evolve, things change, right? Um, when you're a musician, you really learn to roll with that. You really learn to roll with the, the punches and the changes, you know. Because nothing is, you know, music, music is a really wonderful and deeply flawed uh, occupation, you know. Um, but I've done it. I'm still doing it. You know, um, you know, I I have a gear sponsorship. That's a dream come true. You know, I'm on a cool recording label for once in my life, and <laughs> that's really cool. You know, um, I've been in a, been on a lot of shady record companies. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's all stuff that was in the past, and it's all good memories. and Yeah, so I don't look at dreams as something I've ever given up on. I think of them as stuff I'm, I'm living now, now that I put in a lot of work to it. You know, I put in a lot of work being a writer. I put in a lot of work being a musician. Um, definitely put a lot of work and time into becoming a chef. Um, which, you know, in that end of it, the, the, the work I chose to do from age 13 to 48, I guess, um, I put a lot of work into trying to be a cook, you know, um, it kind of destroyed my body you know, and, uh, didn't help with a lot of my, my, I have, I have a bunch of mental, mental problems, um, common mental problems, but, uh, problems nonetheless, and some of them are pretty, uh, crippling at times, you know, um, and I think my life as a cook, uh, kind of exasperated that, or however you say it, um, 
but now it's led to, led me to the seat I'm sitting in now, which is I'm on disability, which is kind of one step up from welfare. Um, but you know, you don't have to go like you can, but you don't have to go to the food banks. Like I, I, I have money to buy groceries now, you know? And, you know, after living a life of, uh, absolute destitute poverty for a few years, uh, being able to buy your own groceries is really, uh, quite a, quite a boon, you know? So yeah, no, I never gave up on any of my dreams. No, I never had to let any of them go. I just hang on and keep grasp on it, grab, keep scrabbling at the locks, you know. Um, and did any of it meet my expectations? All of it did. All of it met my expectations, you know. Um, you know things you learn you don't know, but that's why you learn them. You know, um, being a cook met all of my expectations. I learned, I'm I'm a really good cook now. I'm a really good baker now. Do I do it anymore? No, not really. But I'm pretty good. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, that met my expectations for sure. Uh, you know, my 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 adult life. Um, you know, especially when during my heavy, heavy drinking days, you know, I knew that was bad. I knew I was going to, something was going to break with that. And yeah, that was kind of what I expected. Um, I was going to drink till I died and either choose to die or choose not to die. And I chose not to die. Um, you know, and other things happen in your life. Like, you know, I got married, it fell apart. But it that happened. That's a common problem, you know. Um, so yeah, that kind of met my expectations too. Um, you know, being a musician, I never expected to be a big famous rock star. I kind of wanted to be a well-known punk rock musician when I was a kid. But you know, music's been m much more than I ever expected it would be as has writing uh, been. So, yeah, it's, uh, I live a very modest, but a very uh, happy life uh, right now. I try not to worry about the future too much. I try to help myself to get better, um, both physically and mentally. Um, yeah, retirement looks bleak all across the board. <laughs> but we'll see when we get there, right? All right. I hope that answered your questions, uh, no bluff buff. Uh, thanks for thanks for asking me such a such a, such a complicated question. Um, you know, all in all, it, all all the all these things make me really happy to be living in Canada um, because of our social safety network. I, I know a lot of people would cry socialism at that, but we have a really good system here, you know, uh, really good health care. And, uh, you know, just stuff that helps keep you alive. You know, we have a good food bank system. We have good, um, like, our, our shelter, you know, warming room shelter stuff is pretty decent. But everybody's poor here, man. All right. Be well.